Hi, this is DC Scrap and Rooster. Okay, let me explain um, a couple of things before I show you my projects. Okay, those of you that follow me on Facebook, okay, I, I know a lot of people don't, don't follow me on Facebook, but those that do know that I just post a few pictures, which means I'll just take a couple of things here in my scrap group, put it together, throw it on there, take a picture of it, and post it, and that's what I'm going to be working on. At times, I post a few because I can't get my thoughts together and I want to do, I would never ever run out of mojo, that's for sure, because there's so many things I want to do. So, but last week I posted, I think, three pictures. I think one was um, the Japanese Shabby Chic um, a Traveler's Notebook that um, Irina gave me as a gift. And... I started to do that, but that takes such a long time to put together. Then I pulled out these here. We do, these were given to me uh, from Maria, um, my um, anonymous angel. Okay, she gave me uh, these. And one's the butterflies and the birds, and the other one's the flowers. And I pulled them out, and I just laid them on the table, and I was like, okay, I'm going to use it because I have this, and I have to use them. I'm trying to use what I have. Okay, so I put that aside. <laughs> And then I pulled out the lace because I always tend to go back to my laces, okay? So I was like, I need, I just need to get my thoughts together. I mean, I don't know if it's I'm, you know, I even put it put it on my Facebook. I don't know if it's AD, ADHD or it's just there's so, there's so many things to work with that my brain just wants to go everywhere and I can't focus on just one project. So I forced myself this past couple of days to focus on what I said I was going to do. So I did a little bit of, of the Traveler's Notebook, but I put that aside because that does take a long time. So that'll probably be another couple of weeks before I even finish that because it's just so many tiny little things to work with. And then I pulled these out, okay, which you guys know, this is um, Anna Griffith, the butterflies, I mean the, the flowers, and these are the butterflies and the birds. And they come in a package and they're all squished together. So first I had to lay them out and see what I was going to work with. So what I decided to do is to use these here, which are the the heartfelt um, clear boxes, which I love. Okay, and I have um, a few different sizes. Not a few, I think there's two or three. Okay, but this is all I have left. There's not much left. Okay, and I decided to put them in here, in these boxes, and look how nice. Now I could see them. Instead of being stuck in here, you know, squashed all together, you know, and put away, and I'm not, not going to use them, I decided to put them all in here, and I started to use them, and I think they're so pretty. Now it's just a matter of them putting them, I have them in the container right now, but I would love to put them out, but for the meantime, I'll just leave them in here, put them in the container until, you know, I move into my own little place, and then I could leave them out in a shelf or something like this. But I think it's a, it's a cute idea for storage. Instead of just, you know, embellish cars and to mail it to your friends, you could use this for storage of your embellishments too. So that's what I did. Anyway, so I got that out of the way. But then even though I put them into my little boxes, I was like, okay, now let's work with it. So now I have the paper, I mean the the, um, the paper flowers and the, and the birds and all that. I have my laces. And I have a couple of pieces of ephemera, nothing major. So this is what I created with for the first one. Okay. But this was not my intention. My intention was to make something to store. <laughs> and this is where my brain goes someplace else. So mind you, so I took out the traveler's notebook. I took the butterflies and the birds. I took out um, the, how do you call it? My laces. Okay. And I also pulled out a couple of hankies. Now, I think I pulled these out because my girlfriend's working on her... She worked on um, putting her hankies on these these little hooks to put on, I guess, behind the door or in her scrap room. And it looks so beautiful. And I wanted to work on this since February on my hankies, but just didn't get a chance to. That was my whole intention. So I, was, I wanted to make something or create something where I could store the hankies. So this is what I came up... One of the things that I came up with. Okay, you know, it's to give as a gift. Okay, because now it's, you know, pen pal season again. So here I go again on top of everything else that we're doing. Okay, but I here I, I used the paper the paper flowers. Okay, and what I just, I just layered them. Okay, and in between I added, um, let me show you. I added this one here. Okay, the pink one I can't show you because that's, that's that applique 
uh, from the store. So I still have this one. I have the pink and the green and some white left, off white left. Okay, and I just cut it into pieces. And this one here, these little leaves, which I think are so cute, are, okay, this one here. Okay, you guys know this one if you bought stuff in my store. Okay, I just cut them out and I put them in between to make them look like leaves. Okay, and then this is part, this is a tag. Okay, and the tag is, you, you guys know this lace also. This is one of the new laces that, that I have in the, in, the, in the store. Okay, some little pieces of ephemera. And because it was Easter, there was, there's a little rabbit there. Okay, and a little tag, and here it is, August 21st, 2019. Okay, that's the back part. This is the lace, also in, in the shop. Okay, I don't know if you could see it. But I created this. I thought it was cute. Behind that, there's um that applique, that leaf applique. Do I have one here? Here it is. It's this one here. You guys have seen this also. Okay, the little leaf here, and then just uh, the petal. Okay, another one of the flowers, and here's one of the butterflies. Okay, so I figured I'd put that there. Okay, and this is where the hanky comes in. Okay. And I created more or less to match. Okay, as a gift. Okay, so that's how my brain was working. <laughs> so I'm trying to use, you see where I'm going? I'm like all over the place. I, and I don't know if you guys are like me, but I, I tend to like overthink a lot of things. And even though it's supposed to be something really simple and fun, I don't get me wrong, this was really fun because you'll see where I'm going with this also. It's just my brain want to do a little bit of everything but I you know, I can't focus for some reason I, for some reason I just can't focus on just one particular project I have to have like three or four different projects going at the same time and I don't know if I'm the only one this way and I've you know I even put it on Facebook am I the only one this way or are you guys like that too because you know I know we tend to work on one or two projects but mine is like six or seven and I put one aside and then I go back to it and then I go back to my junk journals and, then, and now I'm starting to get back into my mixed media oh my god <laughs> somebody stop me <laughs> this is crazy so anyway so this is how that this is how I um, implemented the hankies into what I what I'm working on it's, it's it's just so weird I think my brain is just like over creative I think and not getting enough work done or crafting done okay so that's number one okay so oh look one of the little leaves came out i probably didn't glue it good enough that probably goes right here i'm gonna put that there okay so let me show you the second part now let me show you let me put this aside so these are some of the laces that i worked with in my next project including the butterflies okay some of the butterflies okay so I did this and not, I'm not saying I used the whole piece I use like bits and pieces okay I use this one here I use this one here okay and some of these I still have in the shop okay use this one here I don't have this one that I know this is okay remember a while back where well, this was connect like this and then it had um, a little medallion in the middle with the beads hanging okay so I just cut out the little medallion piece with the beads okay that was the collar okay I used this one here okay my first real dangle that I really worked with because I don't really work with dangle trims not that I don't work with them it's just I don't have any you know and what I, I work I work with what I have okay but that was the first dangle because don't get me started on dangles. Oh my God. Because then, oh, that's another, <laughs> that's another, uh, more trims that I, I need to work with. But I don't want to because it's just so many that I work with now. Okay, I use this one here. I use this one here. I use, this one's an old one too. And I use this one here. And I think I used more. And then I used the, what, remember the wedding trim? the plastic wedding trims or the resin okay so let me show you what I did okay so oh, and then okay then I used this here this is 
this felt. Okay. Okay, it's a 12 by 18, and it's pretty thick. And I wanted, uh, usually I, I I use the other, the, the soft one to make my, my banners. But I found this one, and I like this if I want to make the banners a little bit stiffer, or m my project's a little bit stiffer. I think these are great. So what I created with this, I needed a little stiffer um, felt. So I did this. Okay. So this is where my brain is going, okay? Stay with me here. <laughs> okay, so what I did was this box, okay? Because you know me, I like to use everything. What I did was I opened it up. Okay, focus. Focus, focus. Okay, so see there's enough space to work. I don't know why it's not focusing. That's weird. It's the first time it doesn't focus. Okay. Anyway, there's enough room to do the whole the whole thing okay from here to here okay this is how I use this box because I like to use stuff that I have here to create new stuff okay you guys still with me <laughs> oh you ran to another channel <laughs> okay so this is what I created okay here's the dangle okay and this is the store another one another one of these and the hankies okay so here are the butterflies let me do it this way here are the butterflies now the butterflies are i just glued them on here i didn't glue them um they're not permanently on here because what i want to do is i want to uh, laminate them but i don't want to do uh the shiny the shiny uh laminator plastic i want to see if i could dull it just a little bit i might have to put like um like some kind of wax paper over it before I laminate them so this way it's not so shiny if you know what I mean I gotta figure something out but here's the that medallion and the pearl which is used to be the collar okay here's this one here Where's this one so what I did was I just took bits and pieces of my laces okay here's another piece okay and I just put them in different random piece uh, places these here, what was that one? Is this piece here? See right there? And I just put some little resin pieces on there. Okay, here's that leaf, which is right here. Okay, some more of those little flowers. This one here is this little flower here. Okay, and then this one here is this one. So I just took it and cut it into little pieces. And again, the dangle, okay, is the dangle piece that I have here. It's this one. Okay, let me show you the back. Again, just cut up different pieces and just place them on there. Is that too close? Okay, and then here's that trim. Underneath, underneath, where is it? Underneath this uh, resin piece resin wedding trim is this one, this uh, piece here and then the resin piece on top and this one on top okay let me this out of the way okay let me show you the inside okay again more pieces of the all different types of laces okay this one here which is I love this one where is it okay here it is that's this one here. I took a little piece here. Here you go. This little, this piece. Okay, that's what that piece is. Okay. Got another butterfly. Okay, here's um, I just added beads on top. Here's this, that trim, which is well, you guys know. Cause I just showed it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Anyway, it was here. <laughs> anyway, so that's I, I used um, all different types of um, trims and pieces that, that I had left over. Okay, and then on the inside, let me move this out. On the inside, I made. Okay. Am I too far? Too far, too close. Yes. Okay, that's good, I guess. 
Oh, that's not good. That's a little too far, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So here's more of the butterflies. I put, this was, um, it, um, how do you call it? Just the, the card first, and then it has one piece, and what I do is I just added the other butterflies on top. Okay, and I raised them with a piece of, uh, uh, th this, this, oh, God, where is it? I just had it here. I'm telling you, I'm all over. I'm all over the place. That's because the scrap room is so small. My sister's office is so small. Okay, so I just used these little tiny little squares to make them a little bit, to raise them a little bit, as you can see. Okay, and then this lace here, let me move this here, is this piece. Okay, so what I did is I just put it right across, and this is that other piece of lace. Some more of that little flowers right there. Okay, and here's the hanky. And here's another hanky on top. Okay, see? So I think it came out so cute, and I'm sharing some of the la uh, some of the napkins. I mean the hankies. Okay, and this is the back. Okay, and there's my little stamp. But that, that piece right here is this piece that I showed you earlier. Okay, is this piece here. Okay, just cut I just cut the ends because it was too big. Okay, and I sewed it around. Okay, this is just regular cardstock. It's a little thicker cardstock. And I just sewed around the edges. Okay, but I thought that was using what I just put in front of me because I like I said I had the 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 traveler's notebook um, on the side I had the butterflies and the, the birds and then I had the lace and then I had the hankies so I just had to I wanted to incorporate everything okay so that's one one here okay I made another one let me just show you okay so that's one let me take these out of the way I'm just making a mess okay that's one the second one I wanted to use the doilies okay Okay, some of the doilies that, that I have, okay, and the, this was given to me. I don't remember by who, because it was a, a while back, and I just, I'm like, I have no more do doilies. All the doilies are gone, but what I have is just my, my, my personal doilies, which is really not much. It's like a small, um, a small little box of the doilies that were given to me way back, okay, because this doily was from, um, for you, Marlene, and this was a while back, because um, she's she's not doing YouTube right now, but she does go on to uh, Facebook, and I see her once in a while. She's working on her garden, garden. So this was given to me by her. Okay, these are from my from my um my stash here that I I these are the dollar little pieces that I sold way back. This here, okay, and these are the ones that I dyed, which are these here. See, these are my my little stash, it's like leftover pieces. Okay that here and the little tiny doilies okay this is that trim that I do have it's in the store you know bits and pieces of just leftover um, pieces here's a small little doily and I didn't glue this down because I wanted you guys to see another piece of scrap um, lace okay and then another piece of doily here now the cover I did was as you can see was this big piece of um, just left over uh, a lace, almost like a crocheted lace, and that's what I covered the whole, the whole felt with. Okay, this is right here is another piece of doily. Okay, this is left over from the first one that I just showed you. This piece here, okay, which was the applique. Okay, this is the large piece that was left over. Okay, and then here's a little doily and a little flower for my stash. Okay, again, that's that trim, which is in the store. Here's um, a trim that I recently got not too long ago from I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. It was a, it was not too long ago, but it wasn't <laughs> like just around the corner. I don't remember. I think I think this might have. <sighs> 
I don't remember. I don't know if it was from Miss Garden Grove or this was from Virginia 1468. I don't remember. But it was one of them. Or maybe I just got it. Or maybe it was Maria. <laughs> I don't know. You see, because I, I just put everything together. Anyway, so here's the inside. Okay, and here's another piece of um, the doily. A piece of the doily that um, for you Marlene gave me a while back with this doily. Okay, a piece of um, the trim, the flower trim from my stash. Here's another doily, another doily from my stash, and here's another piece of that. Okay, and then on the inside, okay, is this here? Okay, here's my hanky. Okay, here's one of the linen, um, one of the linen um, doilies. But here's a doily, another heart doily. Vintage oil, and here's that flower again. One of these, okay. And here's one of those other flowers, and then a little flower from my stash, a little ribbon right there, a little ribbon rose. Um, here's another piece of doily, okay. This one here, do I have it? No, this one here on top is this one here, which is the only piece I have, okay. Is it on top? And then it's just I added that trim. And then one of these green butterflies, and I think this is from Miss Garden Grove. Okay, here's a underneath here's a doily, and then another one that I sold for a dollar way back. Okay, and then here's the back part. I'm not finished with the back part, I'm still missing. So here's one of the green rows, I mean green doily, and this came from Ulala La Vintage Treasures. This was a while back also. Here's another a piece of doily from my stash, and this back here it wrapped around the whole this thing. Wrapped around the whole card, the whole card. This is from my stash. Okay, and then here it says pull. I can't pull it out because there's some stuff written on there because this is some belongs to someone. And if I pull it out, the name's right there. So, but I just wrote pull. Okay, and then here's the napkin to match. Okay, and then I'm I'm making another one. I made um, there's one another one of these in the works. This one, I want to do it this way. Okay, so that's number two. Okay. Okay, and then, let's see. And then I, I found this here. Okay. This was, I don't know where this came from, but I had it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use it. So, I'm not done with this one. Okay, so this is what I created because... Okay, so you see how it opens up like this. Okay, this one is a butterfly. And some um, shabby chic flowers that I had. This is some of the embroidered uh, linen that I wanted to use. Okay, so you open it this way. Here's this beautiful dragonfly that I um, sold a while back. One of my applic um, appliques. This was... This was... Um, uh, from a shop, I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put it down in the description box. But she is, and she's got a cute name too, and I can't believe I can't remember it. But I'll put the shop down below, if I remember. Okay, then this was a piece of linen that um, it was damaged, and I did not want to throw it away. But I kept the piece, and I just cut it, cut this part, because I love the butterflies. Okay, here, what it, what it looks like opened. Okay, so I'm using some of my applique pieces. Okay, on here. Okay. Oops. Okay, here are the, the napkins that I want to use. There's two of them. Okay, this was a whole, one whole piece, and I just put it on there. This is some trim that I have. Um, not much of. There's like I think I had like maybe three yards of this red. It's just trim. This here came with this part. Um, what I did was I just cut it. It was a big piece of um, almost like a table, a table runner, and I just cut it and just glued it on here. Okay, and then these are just bits and pieces of the applique, of the applique. That one here, okay, was this one here. Okay, so I just cut a piece off and put it on here. What I plan to do this, what I plan to do with this, sorry, what I plan to do with this is do a little water coloring to match some of the colors here so I'm not done with this yet okay let's see 
I just want to, what do you call it? I, I want to do a little watercolor. I've never tried it before, but I want to see. I don't know if anybody has, but I mean, I know I've, I've colored uh, dye before, and I also used my um, my spe uh, Spectrum Noirs to color my appliques, but I want to try a little bit of watercoloring, so I'm going to practice on some of these first before I actually try it on here because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, so that's it. I'm not done with this at all. Okay, let's see, and then I put, you know, got to have a jewelry piece in there, beautiful butterfly, and this is the back. Just one piece that I had left. And here's the, um, the Chinese trim. Okay, so I'm not done with this one yet. And this is going to be the outside because I'm creating another one like this. But I want to use this. And this is the table runner. Okay, see? See how pretty? So there's enough there to do um, the front side of it. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I haven't thought about it just yet, but I know I want to use this, and I'm, I'm going to use it, so I'll probably finish this this week. Okay, and that was just using this here. So you got an idea and just create, you know, whatever I have, I, I'll, I'll use to create anything. Okay, and here's that one again. And then this, I think this one's my favorite because of the fact that I love butterflies. Okay, and... Again, this is, you know, using these little things here for storage. If you guys want to, just an idea for you guys to use. Okay, and here. And it's supposed to be, and see, there's, it was supposed to be something for hankies. But then again, I was using that, I was using lace. I, you know, the brain is just all, all over the place. But at least I finished a project. That was the whole point. I finished a project. So that's all I wanted to share and I hope you like. Let me know what you think. Let me know if your brain is just as crazy as mine. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye and thank you for watching.